So you've just reached LV and you're already crying over Gallium. That one infuriating metal you need for everything, but you can barely get your hands on it. Well, let me introduce you to a little thing called magic. It's real in GTNH, and it completely skips over the annoying, low chance gallium electrolysis recipe. Hi, I'm Duct, a two times Stargate player, veteran of the GTNH mod pack. I'm going to show you how to dupe gallium and tantalum using nothing but a little bit of thorncraft and a cauldron. This method works as early as LV. I'm assuming you already know a little bit about Thorncraft, and if you don't, check out my GTH Magic tutorial part 1. It'll get you up to speed so you can pull this off too. To get started, you'll need the Witching Gadget's Metallurgical Perfection Research. That gives you access to advanced nugget transmutations. The trouble is knowing the easiest item combinations to dupe with. Let's take a look at the two easiest and most useful dupes you can do right away. Gallium. Gallium requires 1 Gallium Nugget, plus 1 Electrum, plus 2 Metalum, plus 1 Permutatio. Easy essential sources are 1 Copper Ingot, plus 1 Fine Wire, or 2 Metal Nuggets, 1 Cotton Seed, and a Fine Wire. Whichever recipe you choose is up to your personal preference, but I normally like to smash out a charcoal Pirate Vein in the Nether to process it for Copper and Fine Wires, then just dedicate that whole vein for the dupe so I never need to do it again. For tantalum, the dupe is similar. Tantalum requires 1 tantalum nugget, plus 2 metalum, plus 1 permutatio, plus 1 vinculum. Easy essential sources are 1 copper ingot, plus 1 soul sand, or 2 metal nuggets, 1 cotton seed, and half a honeycomb. Once you have just one nugget, these recipes let you scale up quickly, and these ingredients are doable at LV. Now, you may be thinking, uh, duct. Am I really going to be duping one nugget at a time? This seems insanely cheap, but isn't it super slow? And you would be right to ask, but you're also not going to be surprised. Because this is where the real trick kicks in. We're going to trap all the flux in a sealed cauldron and run the crucible safely and efficiently without any consequences. Like I said in my Thorma tutorial, you can trap all the sides with forge microblocks and the cauldron will not produce any flux. So then suddenly, there is no necessity to have clean recipes in the cauldron. Okay, time for a small demonstration. Make sure your cauldron has a continuous supply of water, heated and sealed off. Let's dupe gallium first. Drop a copper ingot, fine wire, then a nugget. This should yield three nuggets. Now keep doing this. Drop three ingots, three wires, and three nuggets. This should yield nine nuggets. You can keep continuing this process. If you need lots, you can dump tons and tons of items into a cauldron and nugget dupe at the end. But be careful, don't take too long as Essentia Decay exists. I normally do around 32 to a stack at once. And boom, that's already a ton of gallium. The same can easily be done with tantalum. And here is where it gets really dumb. You can use Essentia Bees from Magic Bees to farm Essentia passively. Combine that with Thormatoriums and you have infinite metal. And there is such a wide range of metals to choose from, not just gallium and tantalum. Just look at this. Sometimes this can be really nice to have passive, but sadly a lot of the main metals have been blacklisted or removed. And thank you for watching. I hope this helps out with your magic journey. And if you've got any questions or if you found this useful, drop a comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more Thorncraft guides, playthroughs, and all things GTNH.